Hey everybody, this is a Platinum Knight here with another video. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, what you get from Best Buy if you exclusively pre order from them. Um, but uh, here is the Steelbook, and here is the standard case. I am so excited to play this man. Um, I'm actually going to live stream the whole thing. Um, since I am currently making this with just one hand, um, I'm going to unwrap these off camera. Okay, uh, here is what they look like unwrapped. Um, maybe I should open this first so I could um, put the game in. Yeah. I'm most likely I'm gonna put away uh, my standard case but uh, I'm planning on uh, keeping the actual disc inside the steelbook. And um, here is what the inside looks like. It looks so cool. Um, it shows uh, Raccoon City's final moments. There we go. And I guess that's about it, guys. Um, I am so happy that I pre-ordered my copy of the Resident Evil 3 Remake from Best Buy. Um, I'm pretty sure there are other places doing steelbooks that I could be unaware of. Um, but Best Buy is uh, the most mainstream, and I just thought it would be a good idea to get it there. Uh, and before um, any of you ask, yes, you still get the, the pre-order codes, so that way you can get uh, Jill Valentine's original outfit, um, including uh, Carlos's uh, classic outfit from the original game. So yeah, you're basically not really missing anything. You're actually getting more from Best Buy, uh, besides getting the RE3 uh, Collector's Edition from GameStop. Uh, but the reason why I didn't get the Collector's Edition, because I just thought it was uh, too expensive and could have done better. Uh, but I didn't just get the Resident Evil 3 Remake, I also got some other pickups that I got not too long ago. Let's see, first I guess I might as well talk about the 10th Anniversary Bundle Launch Edition. Um, it comes with both uh, Platinum Games Bayonetta and Vanquish. Uh, when it comes to Vanquish, I actually have the PS3 version, and I loved that game so much that you know that I most likely just had to get this, and yeah, um, and I never played Bayonetta before, but because now that I have a Nintendo Switch, I could easily just buy Bayonetta 2 Remastered for the Switch so I can play both games. So yeah, this is really, really nice. I like this. Um, but I'm not going to unwrap it here because it doesn't really look like I'm going to play it anytime sooner because I'm going to be focused with other games. Uh, but I'm still happy to have it, and I am at least going to play it this year. And of course, I got Animal Crossing. I mean, with the coronavirus going on, and when it comes to you um, supposed to be staying at home, uh, hashtag stay home, I thought Animal Crossing would be the perfect game. Um, to play during this uh, worldwide pandemic, you know? 
And not to mention, I just love Animal Crossing in general. I've been playing Animal Crossing since the GameCube. And um, if you're wondering where the cartridge is, um, I actually uh, have it in my Switch right now. Oh, this is going to be a little bit hard to do with just one hand. Here is my Switch. Here is my town so far. Um, yeah, I'm about to get the museum pretty soon. And I'm honestly having a lot of fun with my Switch, guys. Here is the inside of my house. I know it's not much, but it's only because I have been playing for about two days now. And yeah, um, I'm glad that I bought uh, my Switch off of my cousin. And I kind of regret not hooking it up a long time ago. Alright everybody, that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And peace out everybody.